guys welcome back to my channel it's been a long time since i filmed in my bedroom and i don't even think i've ever filmed in this bedroom at my new house but welcome my house is kind of getting torn apart right now i am moving in like 11 days so all my filming stuff like my seats and stuff are gone and i don't have anywhere to sit so that's why we're in my bedroom and i'm here to refilm my wedding q a i filmed it and as i was editing it things changed like legitimate big plans changed that would have totally made the video like not true so i'm here to redo it and i'm sorry that it's delayed but at least i'm getting to it right so i'm wearing my thug wife shirt and i got it from little b boutique on instagram i love their shirts okay let's get into the questions okay so the first one is by jdance 17 and she said how did you know he was the one and how long had you been dating before you guys got engaged? Oh, I love this question. So Riley and I started dating our junior year of high school and honestly, from the very beginning, by talking to him and he was just so different from everyone. He had never had a girlfriend before. He was very quiet, very reserved, very, very smart and a really great basketball player. He played on varsity all of our years in high school. He was so, so smart and he just was like, so different than anyone who I had ever talked to in high school. I always talked to like the bad guys and the you know, the different crowds in high school. And so when Riley and I started talking, it was super new, but it was definitely like a good new and it was something that I really needed. And from the very, very beginning, I had told myself, I told all of my friends, I was like, I'm gonna marry him. And it wasn't like, oh my God, he's so hot. I'm gonna marry him. It was like a legitimate like, this is the person that you need to marry. Like he is the type of person you need to marry. And now we are. <laughs> and it, oh, I just love him. We were dating, we were 10 days short of three year anniversary. We, he proposed 10 days before our, our three year anniversary. So that's how long we were dating. Um, then Cameron Lure Cook says, how and why did you come to the decision of a temple wedding and where's the honeymoon? So if you guys didn't know, Riley and I are getting married in the temple. It is a religious ceremony and we are so excited. We actually came to that decision after praying and talking about it and thinking about it. And we are actually at his grandpa's funeral, which is so sad, but we were there and we were kind of just, you know, feeling the love and with our family and just like really appreciating like family time. And we decided that that's what we wanted and that's what's best for us. If you guys are LDS, then you know why that is so important and why that is so special. And if you aren't, then feel free to go to LDS.org and click and like learn why. I won't be able to do it justice of why that's so important, but family is something that is so important to me and Riley especially. And we want to have our family and our kids for eternity, not just until we die. And that's kind of what that goes along with. And so that is why in yeah that's how that's how we kind of came to the decision just by talking and praying about it we are so excited and the honeymoon is super undecided right now i'm thinking cabo he's thinking hawaii but then we're also kind of thinking like what if we take like a week in california and hit disneyland twice and then like three baseball games and like all the super fun stuff that's like way more us than cabo is so it's kind of in the air still but that's what we're thinking Natalie underscore Anderson 616 says, what are your colors? I'm getting married too, so do you have any tips? I'm so excited. This is one of the things that changed and I am so happy that they did. So our colors are dusty blue. This kind of looks baby blue, but in the right lighting, it's dusty blue with black. And oh my gosh, it looks so good. Riley tried on his suit and his tie and it looks amazing. And then the dads are gonna wear just white button up shirts with black slacks and then navy blue ties. And so this is my grandpa's and this is my dad's. And it kind of goes like, this is a little bit lighter and this is a little bit darker. And so I thought that was cute because this whole scheme looks amazing, but together it goes like lightest, medium, and then darkest. And it's like age group. And so that's how the dads are gonna wear their ties. I love it. I think it's so, so cute. And then the groomsmen are just gonna wear a white shirt, black slacks, and then this same tie, whereas Riley will be wearing like a whole suit with it. And yeah, and then I'm wearing white, obviously. And any tips? Oh, girl, <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Planning has been so hard and has been so different than what I ever thought that it would be. And so I guess the only tip that I can give you is be true to yourself and what you want for your wedding because everyone is gonna give you opinions. And I've even had people be like, you can't make everyone happy, so just do what you wanna do, but make sure you're making me happy. Or you can't do what everyone wants, so just do what I want. And like, people just really don't get it that their wedding is not about them. Your wedding is about you. Their wedding was for them and yours is for you. So just do what you want. It might be a little harder, but it's definitely worth it in the long run that that's kind of what we're doing and that's kind of why things changed. And I am way happier than I was before with our planning because things are actually like working out the way that they're supposed to instead of me trying to make only one side of our family happy or the other side or just the girls or whatever it was. So stay true to what you have always wanted and but be open to ideas because being super stubborn is something I did too and it didn't work out for me. So be open, but stay true to yourself. <laughs> the next question is, is from Who's It Dawn and it said, what is one thing that you're looking forward to with being married? Also, who's your favorite YouTuber to watch? The thing that I'm looking forward to the most about being married is just being with Riley. We have been long distance for two years out of the three years that we've been dating and it's been a really hard two years. It's taken a toll on us for sure. And when we're together, we are so good and we get through our little fights and we get through our grumpiness and our hangriness and all that stuff. But when we're apart, it's a lot harder because we have to text or we have to phone call and it's super hard. But when we're together, we have really good chemistry and we can work things out really easily. And so the thing that I'm the most excited for is just being with him all the time and living with him and getting to snuggle him whenever I want. Like I think he's the cutest person in the entire world and my whole heart like melts when I see him and so like I just want to be with him all the time. <laughs> my favorite YouTuber to watch is Lauren Benet. Also I binge watch her vlogmases like it's crazy because Christmas is my favorite, Lauren is my favorite and it's she's just amazing. She deserves a million subscribers. Like I wish she could just stay home and YouTube all day, every day, but you know, I don't get what I want all the time. The next question is from Lessie underscore Lou and it says, any wedding preparation tips? What emotions did you both experience before and after getting engaged? Oh, that's a loaded question. What is, any wedding preparation tips? Same thing, keep your mind open to things, but definitely stay true to what you want. Like hear people out, but always make the, the executive decision. And I think one thing that I've learned is steer away from Pinterest. Just, it's really good to get ideas, but then you kind of get into this like snake hole of, oh, I really want that, that looks amazing, but it's probably out of your budget, or it's probably like some other crazy state where you can't get it shipped to you or something like that, and then you like your heart gets hurt and you just feel sad that that's not what your wedding is gonna look like but whatever you end up doing is gonna be perfect for you as long as you're happy with it. And so I've had to stay away from Pinterest because I see a lot of conflicting things like a strapless dress or a sleeved dress or a long sleeves or a poofy or a straight. And I love the way it looks on that one girl, but it wouldn't look that good on me, but I get so focused on that picture and I want my wedding to be that way that I can't let go that I look nothing like that girl and that's not how it's gonna look on me, so I won't like it. It's just, it's a whole thing. So that is what I will say. And then the emotions that we both felt before and after getting engaged. Before was super excited, obviously. We could not wait to be engaged and start our life together. And then after, we were really excited, but we were kind of just drained. We spent the whole day doing like our preparation. And I think after that, we just wanted to watch a movie and snuggle, but we went and met up with my family and kind of showed off the ring and all that fun stuff. But. I think we we're both just a little tired and we we're just like, oh, like that was a whole day, but tomorrow we wake up and we're engaged and that is crazy. So it was just all amazing things. The next question is from Sarah Campbell Harris and she said, can you give advice to some people who have always, who are always telling you that you're too young to be in love or you're too young to say you're marrying him? I responded back to the scroll in here because I was like, oh my gosh, I deal with that all the time. I have had family members, I've had friends, I've had people I don't even know all over the internet tell me, one girl even said, she's like, I would kill myself if my 19 year old daughter was getting married. And I was like, that would be so unfortunate for your daughter because like, if she's happy, like why, why would you want to kill yourself? Like, I know she's just being overdramatic, but still, like that was a little much. Um, 
I experience that all the time and I think the only thing that you can say is sorry like I'm sorry that you feel that way but that's not gonna change the way we feel that's not gonna change what we're doing I think a big thing is being financially stable and ready to be married and combine your lives if you're barely getting by on your own and he's barely getting by then maybe it's not the best thing to just get married because a lot of other things come with that um, but if you can see your finances and work them out and I think that's a really big thing too is just showing people that you can be an adult and you can make things work and you can work through these hard things and have your finances and have your life and plan your wedding and all these things then people start to realize it doesn't matter how old you are it just matters that you love each other and that you're willing to work out anything and everything and that you've been smart with this decision and it hasn't just been a willy-nilly let's get married and you had put no thought into it um, other than that you kind of just have to brush them off and say I'm sorry that you feel that way <laughs> but I have no sympathy for that like that's how you feel I'm not gonna tell you that you're too old to get married or that you know like people get married when they're 50 and they still have the same divorce rate as people who get married when they're younger it's because people need to be willing to work it out they need to be willing to love each other and work with each other rather than just let your differences pull you apart that is off with instagram questions now on facebook olivia page Fryman said what is your favorite part of the wedding planning and so far i haven't really had a favorite part because all of it's been pretty equally hard but i did design our invitations and our rcp cards like all by myself and i love them so i think that's like the part that i'm the most proud of right now um I wish I could say dress shopping, but I kind of went by myself. If you guys watched my vlog channel, then you saw that story. I bought my dress and didn't tell anybody and like didn't show anybody. And so that was kind of like, it was fun and it worked out and it's the perfect dress. But the experience that I had before wasn't that amazing. And so I just went and bought the dress by myself. Um, but yeah, I think that making the invitations is the most fun. Then Michaela Rose, you being, you being? You mean? Sorry, I'm so sorry, girl. Said, why aren't you having an engagement party? And I actually showed Riley this question, and he was like, because they're stupid. I don't think that they're stupid. But they are kind of a waste of money to my eyes. We don't have a ton of friends, and if the ones that we do have are all spread out going to college, and so we're not going to have a party for our family that's all going to come to the wedding and the rehearsal dinner and the whatever i probably will have a bachelorette party or a bridal shower and i know riley and his dad and brothers will take like a golfing weekend and have like a bachelor's party but having an engagement party just seems like a little mini wedding to me at least the way that i would plan one and so we just think it's kind of a waste of money because i don't know like all of the people who we would invite to the wedding are the exact same people we would invite to the engagement party so it just doesn't make any sense to have two and then Lauren Eastdale said, who is doing all of your pictures? And Riley's sister-in-law is doing all of our pictures. She's wonderful. We have really similar style. I really like bright and happy pictures, and so does she. And so she is doing all of our pictures. And then on Twitter, at Life of BGL said, when is the wedding? Which, duh, like that's such a good question. That's something that changed too from the last time I filmed this. Our wedding is actually August 25th of 2017. So we are like 72 days away as of today, which is crazy. Um, it originally was in October, but things kind of happened and I like October, but I'm moving over there and it just, all these sorts of things, like so many things happen. August just makes a ton of sense for us. We both are super happy with August. Our families are happy with August. Everything works out in August, and so we are doing it in August. And I hope I didn't miss any questions, but that is all that I have. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any more wedding questions, please leave them down below. I would be happy to answer them and kind of go over things as things change and grow and whatever. So thank you for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video.